Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change out a set of brake shoes very quickly. All the tools that you're going to need are right here. The new brake shoes, some grease, this is optional, it's a air spray attachment, um, a way to get the wheel off, two zip ties, a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a crescent wrench, which is optional depending on if you're doing axles, front axles, a set of vice grips, and a set of snips to cut the zip ties. The first step is to remove the wheel and in my case I'm using hair tools which make it a lot quicker. Set the lug nuts off to the side where you won't forget where they are. And pull the wheel off and set it also to the side where you won't lose it. The next it. thing you're going to want to do is remove this rotor. Um, this can be really easy and this can be really difficult. Um, if you're having a hard time pulling this off, um, the best idea is to, um, on the back there's a little um, plastic cover down here at the bottom. You can pull that out, take a flathead screwdriver and adjust that back so that way it will pull the brakes in and you're able to slip that rotor off like that. Um, in my case I've been in and out of here working on these I replaced the brake cylinder in a past video, so this should just slip right off. It also might take a rubber mallet, um, knocking it around to try and get it out of there, um, depending on how seized the brakes are and how long the vehicle's been sitting. Typically what I'll do is I'll start with the upper springs first. That always makes everything a lot easier moving from top to bottom. So what you want to do is take your vice grips and Grab on to the bottom portion of the spring and kind of twist it out like that. So there's your first spring. And you want to set that in the top right off to the side so you know where it goes. Um, you can get the top right and the bottom right kind of mixed up because they're really similar other than the colors. Top one's red, bottom one's green on this Ford. And then, uh, so then grab this one. I found it's easiest to grab it right here and push forward and off like that. And then what you want to do is take this spring, we'll first remove this piece so it removes the tension. We'll get to that in just a second. And then finagle this spring around until these two pieces come out and put them on the top left. Then you want to remove this piece that holds the uh, brake shoes back as far as they need to be. Put that in the very top. So once you've done that, um, then we're going to move down to the lower section. We're going to remove this, and this is the adjuster line. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this big spring right here that's holding on the adjuster. And then this adjuster is just a clip that hooks in right there. And uh, I don't have a tripod that's low enough for me to show you, so I'm just going to do that real quick and I will show you it out of the vehicle. And actually the first thing that you can do is you can just pull the adjuster out uh, like that. So once you do that, go ahead and pull that back in and that should just slide right out and there's that spring. So go ahead and put that in the bottom right so you don't get the top right and the bottom right mixed up. And then uh, your adjuster plate, go ahead and put that um, just to the left of the adjuster and you can put that with your um, adjuster line and so uh, we pretty much got it broken down um, there are three more components that we need to remove um, the first one is going to be uh, this one up here it's a bar that goes across and kind of keeps some space and this is for the um, emergency brake and uh, you can just kind of tilt that out. You don't want to lose anything when you're doing this. You need all these components. So we'll remember that the spring and uh, bracket go on the right hand side with the uh, longer space right here. This is longer 
than this side down here. So we'll just put that in the middle, put those together. And so then once we're at this point, we've only got um, two more pieces that we need to remove. So they do sell little cup tools um, that are uh, that work really nice, um, but I found a pair of vice grips. I don't really do brakes really that often. This was asked of me to do for a favor. Um, so you can just do that and you just, the way these work is um, they've got a little notch and then the pin goes in and you want to turn it so that way it locks in place. And so there's a, a cap, a spring, another cap, and that pin runs through all three of them. Uh, I like to keep these together. The customer asked me to uh, use the, the original springs and stuff. He didn't want them changed out or hardware, so we're going to do that for him. And then you can go ahead and pull that pin out of the back. And like I said, it's just got just a little sort of a spaded edge. And that goes in and like I said, just turns and locks in place. So keep that on the right hand side or the front, those three pieces. And then we'll come over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So we'll latch our vice grips on there, put our finger on the back to hold that in place kind of finagle that. We might need to readjust a little bit and pull that right out. Like I said, if these parts get away from you, they are really easy to lose. So just uh, try and keep them all together if you are reusing the same hardware. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, as long as there's nothing wrong with the hardware. And go ahead and pull the pen and keep those over to the rear side. So now what we have uh, here is we have our e-brake cable and this is actually pretty simple to remove. So turn it around so you guys can get an idea. So when we pull this it actually pushes the brakes out um, from inside the cab and it's done by a spring system here. So you pull that spring and you're gonna tilt it until it just comes out just like that. And so we'll go inside and change out um, this whole assembly here for the e-brake onto the other new brake shoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, place this into the vise and I'm going to tighten it down. So it doesn't matter if we bend this or anything like that since these are the old brakes. And this is where it kind of it's nice to have new hardware because you don't have to worry about saving this and in this case we do have to worry about saving it so we are going to do this as carefully as we can and the way that this works is it's almost like a little pincher that goes around like that and there's a nub and then on the inside there's a groove so I'm going to start by doing is sort of tapping this and trying to break it free the best that we can It's starting to loosen up a little bit. There we go. Popped right out of there. And then there will be a little washer underneath there. So we'll set those two things aside. We'll undo this. And then this will just slip right out. And then we can set our old one aside. So as I was saying, Put the little washer over the top there, and then there's a little groove that this slides into, just like that. So then what we're going to do is we are going to um, place this in the correct hole, push that up in there, and then I like to put this back on my vise. I've found it's uh, pretty easy to do it this way, and just, you don't want to crunch it, but just kind of snug it down in there so it's not going to go anywhere and uh, check and make sure that you're all shown up there and you can see everything and so once you're there um, then we're going to just put this over here like this and we're going to kind of crimp it on there so so I'm going to kind of want to get this so it doesn't go anywhere. And 
crimp it down one more time. There we go. Now she's on there good. So then from there, um, on front brakes it's a lot easier because you don't have the e-brake. Um, also another thing, uh, some guys like to put a little bit of grease on these e-brake assemblies, but I don't really see the point in that unless you're drifting and you're pulling your e-brake constantly. So um, as long as it turns nicely and freely like that and it's secured, you're fine. Um, on front brakes where there is no e-brake, you won't have to use this. So you can just connect these zip ties like I'm going to show you up at the top and that's a little bit easier because then you don't have to try and get them out of the top like I'm going to. So what we're going to do is we're going to thread one through this hole here and you want to do this on the top because your force of gravity is going to cause them to fall down and so it'll just make it a little easier um, to hold the brakes up. And go ahead and thread this through back here. You want to go maybe a quarter of the way. You do not want to tighten these up too far because then you'll just have to put new ones on and I'll show you why. So I'm just going to do a little bit and you see my gap here up at the top um, where that's going to have to go. It's going to have to go right about there when it's all the way on there. So I want a little bit of play like that. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take um, the caliper with the e-brake and you're going to kind of put it up there and see what it's going to look like. So that way you can determine exactly how you need to slip the emergency brake spring and assembly cable through. And it just slides like, like it came off, just like that. So before you actually install um, the brake shoes, what you want to do is you want to take um, some compressed air or some brake clean or something like that. Spray them on. And when you do that, what you're going to notice is there's going to be a couple of these little spots that are showing metal, and there's six of them. One at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top right there. And they're on both sides. And those are where your brake shoes rub and so you want to put a little bit of grease on those six spots. Then, once you do that, then you can install your brake shoes and just kind of place them up top like that. You want to get the uh, little pistons in their correct places, like that, and this one as well, that are on your brake cylinder. So once you're at this point here, then you can take your zip tie and start to tighten it down like that. And that's what makes this job really nice, is that zip tie. Because now you don't have to hold these up here while you're trying to slide a pin through. So the next step is, as I just mentioned, sliding the pins through. So we're going to take our right pin and we're going to slide it through the hole. Then we're going to take our first retaining washer and we're going to slide that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our spring and our final retaining washer that holds the whole assembly together. And we're going to put it in our vice grips, kind of like we did when we took them off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to carefully it's going to be tough to see, but you want to put that spade, I found it's easiest if I can do it. You want to put that spade straight up and down, and then when you put your final retainer washer on, orient that straight up and down. Put your finger on the back and put it in and turn it just like that. 
and do the same thing on the other side. So once you have both of those in, the two retaining springs, you can go ahead and cut your zip ties and start to, like I said earlier, kind of work those out of there. And it should be pretty easy, just take your time and they'll come right out. Okay, so now that you have that, you can pull them up and out a little bit, push them in. So pull them out and then in, because they're usually resting in the gap where the uh, rotor likes to. So this is what I mean by setting them sort of in the um, area where they need to be at. My bottom spring, bo upper right spring, Daddy. left spring, and then the cross. Hey, and then I've got this on Daddy. this side, which is the adjuster. Mama needs two eggs. Okay. Can we give her some? So the next thing that you're going to do, since everything's all loosened up, is you're going to slide this in and push it over into the e-brake area and then on this side you're going to kind of pull it out and you're going to do the same thing on this side. Um, this side's a little trickier because you have the piston that you have to line up uh, as well as that bracket. So, uh, But if you're careful and you take your time you should be able to slide that all in together. You're going to take that plate that we were talking about and you're going to well, first you're gonna pull these out like I showed you earlier and push them in like that. And you're gonna push that plate all the way back on there, just like that. Then you're gonna take your adjuster spring. And what this does is when you push on the brakes, it pulls this up. And what it causes it to do is push that adjuster out. And that's how you get the adjustment of your brakes. So you're gonna slide this over the top of that, always in that order. You're just going to kind of set that off and up to the side, just like that, because you want it to be above the spring that you're going to put in. The next piece that you're going to put in is going to be the adjuster ride, or whatever you want to call that. And you're going to slide that in. That's going to go to the next hole down. And you're going to push that in, turn it, and you want to get that ride just kind of so it's not in the way. You're going to hold the spring and then you're going to take your vice grips back here at the back, clamp them down, push up and on just like that. And then you're going to want to work that back just like that. Push this adjuster ride like that. You do not want that to go behind and then you're just going to set that like that for now. The next spring you're going to do is the upper uh, spring. On this one it's red and you're going to put it in that top notch just like that and just kind of hook it in like that, turn it, and just hold it there. So you're gonna take the spring and pull it up and over, right into the channel, just like that. And you can take your vice grips and you can pinch these springs down some, not a lot. But just a little bit that you've pulled them out. The last portion that we need to do is the adjuster and the adjuster lever. So I'm twisting the adjuster in all the way. Slide my adjuster on and pull the shoes in so that way it's held in place. We're going to take our adjuster line and we're going to hook it like that, put it in the hole down there, and then we're going to take our final spring, hook that right there, grab our vice grips, take our spring. hook it in just like that. So now the brakes are fully assembled. So from this point what we're gonna do is take our rotor slide our rotor all the way back take the wheel 
roll it over, slide it on just like that, take the lug nuts and start them by hand. And once you get them started by hand, then you can go ahead and torque them down. And then go ahead and torque them down to spec, drop the wheel, and you're done. If you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see, comment below. Oh, <laughs>